So when we are playing music, we use, you can see it. So we use seven letter names. And uh, the first one is C. We don't want to start from A, B, C, D, E, G. We start from C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and the C which is uh, doubled because we are we play the lower one and the octave one. So you can either use the letter names or the solofa notes. Remember, I told you the solofa notes. It is. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So, being that you start with the C, if you are playing to C, that is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So, you have started with the C and play the C octave. So, that is what they mean with uh, the letter names. Uh, most of the Western people. They use letter names. For us, for us, we are used to the solo follows, which is do re mi fa so la ti do. And now, if we want to to put them on a into the musical musical feeling, there is what we call a, a staff or a stem. A staff. It's a group of five lines and the four spaces where music notes are written. Those things that are, are that you see here, those black lines, the five black lines, that is called the staff. And uh, to name the staff, we have the first line down, it is E. The second line being G. The second, uh, the third line being B. The second last, it is D. And the last one, it is F. That is when we are naming the lines. And remember, I told you, we, have, we can abbreviate them by naming them. Every good boy deserves, deserves food. Okay? A very good boy <coughs> deserves food. That is the formula that you can use to name the five lines. And to name the four spaces, the, the first space, it is F. The second space, it is A. The third space, it is C. The last space, it is E. So you can name it as, you can give it also as a, a formula, as face. Okay? When you are naming the spaces, you name it as face. And when you make the, we name the lines, it is, every good boy deserves food. Okay? Or father, whatever you can remember, or you can get more better. Then, um, when we write in music, like this kind, this piece of it, this pic, this piece of music. You find it at some music, the notes. Notes are these ones that represent the sound. Those crosses that you see, we call them the notes. Those are the notes that represent the sound. Either when we, we group them, we, we, we name them in these small, small lines, we, we cross cross them, those we call them the notes. Notes are the ones that represent the sound that we blow, either lower sound or higher, higher sound. Now, there comes when we have some notes below those five lines and the four spaces or above. So, those. There are some small lines that are drawn below that the five lines and the four spaces or above the, the five lines and the four spaces. We call them the ledger lines. The ledger lines. Ledger lines are the ones that are put above or below the staff. Those short lines. 
and they should be either to, to, to represent the lower notes or the higher notes. That's where we write the higher notes or the lower notes. So the, light, the ledger lines are already short lines below or above the staff. How do we differentiate a staff? And another, uh, you know when we have this one, the beginning, what do we call that? We call them the cliff. We have two types of cliffs. Okay? We have the treble cliff or the bass cliff. The bass cliff, it is the one that is written like this, and it is always representing the, the, the deeper voices, like the bass. The bass, when they are reading their music, they, they can either, some people write it in the treble cliff to simplify the work, others, they write the music on bass cliff. And uh, the second name for a, a treble cliff, it is called a G cliff. A G cliff, because it's called a G cliff, because it starts from the line of G, from the line of G. <coughs> That's when it starts to rotate, to go up and come down. So it is called a treble cliff or a G cliff. And uh, the second name for a bass cliff, it is called F cliff. F cliff, because it starts from the line of F. From this line up, then it goes to come down. So those are the, the two clips that we use when we are writing the music. Are we together? Yes. Is there any question? Yes. Yes, they specify is asking, can they specify a treble cliff like a, if the trumpeters are the one or are the only one supposed to, to play it? Uh, they can specify, but uh, when they are trying to write the treble cliff, it is used for higher notes. So the bass, it is very hard for them to, to go high. So for them, they normally play on the lower lines, okay? That's why they simplify for them also to write a bass clip. Actually, those people, these people, they almost play the same. That's why we have this one. This one is called a bass trombone. It can play what the bass can play, okay? It goes deeper than the other normal trumpet, the, no, the tenor, we call them the tenor trombone, okay? This bass trombone can go deeper than the tenor trombone. And uh, this treble clip, it is normally easier for the clarinets, for the flutes, for the trumpets, because for them, they can even go higher than high, okay? <laughs> for them, they can play higher than high, we call it, in the music, we call it octaves. Octaves, not for the body. We call them the octaves, the discants, okay? The discant is uh, the soprano, soprano extra. That is what we call the discant. Okay. So like they go higher than higher. 